If you're a new engineer interested in PLCs, DCS, SCADA, and you're wondering how to start, today I will share step-by-step -step guide to help you begin and do well in this field. Welcome to IT and Automation Academy YouTube channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future content about PLC, DCS, SCADA, HMI, and IIoT. Step 1. Learn the basics. Begin by building a strong foundation in electrical and control engineering. Start with fundamental concepts such as Ohm's law, voltage, current, resistance, and circuits. You should also understand digital logic, including binary code, logic gates, and Boolean algebra. Learn about sensors and actuators, as they play a crucial role in PLCs, DCS, GATA systems. Additionally, grasp the principles of control systems, including feedback and closed-loop control. Step 2. Understand Programming and Logic PLCs and DCS systems rely on programming. Learn the programming languages used in automation. Understand ladder logic, which is widely used in PLC programming. Additionally, grasp function block diagram, FBD, structured text, ST, and sequential function chart, SFC, as they are used in different industrial automation scenarios. Step 3. Get to know the hardware. Gain hands-on experience with different PLC and DCS hardware. Familiarize yourself with the components such as CPUs, input-output modules, communication interfaces, and power supplies. Learn how to wire and configure these components correctly to create functional control systems. Step 4. Study DCS, SCADA. Dive deeper into distributed control systems, DCS, and supervisory control and data acquisition. Understand how DCS systems are designed to control processes in various industries. Learn how these systems integrate with PLCs and other devices to manage complex industrial processes. Step 5. Choose the right platform. Familiarize yourself with various PLC and DCS manufacturers and their product offerings, such as Siemens, Allen Bradley, ABB, Honeywell, and others. Explore SCADA software options like Wonderware and Ignition. Consider what's commonly used in your region and industry, as this can impact your job opportunities. Step 6. Take relevant courses. Consider enrolling in formal courses or certifications related to PLC programming, DCS systems, and GATA software. These programs could provide structured learning and may help you acquire the necessary skills and knowledge. Additionally, explore online mentorship opportunities. If you're looking for personalized guidance, we do offer online mentorship details on link on your screen. Step 7. Gain hands-on experience. Apply your knowledge by working on real-world projects even if they're small or personal. Practical experience is crucial for developing your skills. You can build simple control systems or automate tasks at home to get a feel for the technology. Step 8. Stay updated. Stay current with the rapidly evolving field of industrial automation. Keep up with industry trends, new technologies, and advancements as automation technology is continually evolving. Regularly follow relevant blogs, forums, and industry publications to stay informed. Step 9. Network. Attend industry events, seminars, and conferences related to automation and control systems. Join professional organizations, such as the International Society of Automation, ISA, or the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME. Networking can provide valuable insights, connections, and job opportunities. Step 10. Develop soft skills. Improve your communication and problem-solving skills. In your role, you'll often collaborate with multidisciplinary teams and need to explain complex technical concepts to non-technical stakeholders. Effective communication and problem-solving are essential for success in the field. Step 11. Understand safety and regulations. In industries like oil and gas, power generation, and pharmaceuticals, strict safety protocols and industry regulations are crucial. Familiarize yourself with these standards and guidelines to ensure the safe operation of automation systems in compliance with legal requirements. Step 12. Focus on documentation. Thoroughly document your work, including system designs, configurations, and troubleshooting procedures. Good documentation is vital for diagnosing issues, performing maintenance, and ensuring system reliability. Step 13. Learn troubleshooting skills. Develop strong troubleshooting skills. The ability to identify and fix issues in PLC, DCS is highly valued in the industry. Analytical thinking and systematic problem solving will be essential in your role. 
Step 14. Embrace Cybersecurity As more automation systems connect to networks, understanding cybersecurity and industrial automation is crucial. Learn about best practices for securing automation systems and data, including network segmentation, firewalls, and regular security audits. Step 15. Be persistent and patient. Learning about PLC DCS can be challenging. Stay patient and persistent as you gain knowledge and skills. Don't be discouraged by initial setbacks, as mastering these technologies takes time and practice. Step 16. Start small. Begin your career with entry-level positions in the field. These roles often provide valuable hands-on experience and opportunities for growth. As you gain experience and expertise, you can work your way up to more advanced positions in automation and control engineering. That's it for today. If you enjoyed our content, please support us by liking and subscribing. Until next time, take care and goodbye.